This is a video just to show you how I'm repairing the Nikon 105mm micro ED VR lens uh, which stopped working. Uh, the focus stopped working on it. When you turn the focus ring it just spins around and the actual focus of the lens or the lenses inside uh, doesn't do anything. Um, so far I've taken apart some part of the lens you can see the the, the parts uh, laid out here uh, and I'm just about to take off uh, the electronic uh, parts here which uh, brush against the the brush of the motor uh, when you, when the motor is working the reason I need to take these parts off uh, you can see the uh, these parts uh, with the um, yellow and red wires as because this part here this ring uh, which is normally attached uh, to the SWM motor assembly which is those parts here uh, this this will not come out until those uh, soldered wires are removed and also all of the solder so that's what I'm going to do now with my trusty soldering iron just a few comments before I uh, unsolder those wires uh, whilst the soldering iron is warming up. Um, I'm using a standard jeweler's screwdriver set, uh, which you can see here. Uh, sorry about the, uh, the group out there. Um, but you can see this is a standard jeweler's screwdriver set, um, two of which I've been using. And then for desoldering, I have a desoldering tool which also has an anti-static bit on the end and this is a, a temperature controlled soldering iron and some solder there for when I put the the, uh, the wires back. Another point I wanted to make was that uh, throughout the operation I'm wearing an anti-static wrist strap um, just to be sure that I don't damage any of the electronic components inside um, when I'm uh, touching them or, or desoldering. Okay, so all of the wires have been unsoldered. You can see that I've taken the this ring, uh, which is part of the uh, wave motor assembly, I've taken that off now. And you can see all of those uh, electronic uh, parts uh, which are desoldered from the unit. Uh, in order uh, to not lose or forget the configuration of the wires um, and, the, and the placement of those parts, in their right um, place. I've taken uh, photos, uh, several photos, to in with with the uh, with the camera to ensure uh, that uh, none of that information is lost. So I, I would stress that it's uh, you can't really take too many photos uh, to ensure that you have enough information for reassembling these things. Okay, so what I've noticed is that when I reassemble the PWM motor assembly, um, the plastic ring here in the middle, if I just remove it and show you one side of it, see there are some notches uh, in there. And basically on the inside ring of the assembly, there should be some small plastic pieces, which when you slot this in, uh, they should mate together and if you turn it, uh, then it locks in and the whole assembly stays in one piece nice and firmly uh, assembled together unfortunately when I dropped the lens which caused the problem in the first place um, those small pieces have broken off which means that the PM, PWM motor assembly is not really repairable um, as it currently stands. Whether there is a spare part available to replace the plastic part inside this uh, aluminium ring here, I don't know, or maybe it's possible to buy a whole new PWM uh, motor assembly. So this I have to look out for um, on, inter on the internet, maybe on eBay or going to a Nikon dealer actually. Um, so for the time being, because that's not repairable, um, then I'm going to just uh, reassemble 
the uh, the lens as it was before and then try to uh, acquire uh, one of those parts uh, to to reattempt to repair the lens so this is what it looks like uh, with the P PWM motor assembly um, placed back on the, the main lens assembly uh, there's a I don't know if you can see it but underneath uh, underneath here there is a notch uh, where a, a screw fits on uh, and that's what actually turns when the motor is fixed and not m turning like this um, but the, when the motor is activated electronically uh, then you can see under there that that screw in that notch actually turns uh, the lens assembly and that's what uh, is, is actually focusing the lens and see I've now soldered two of those electronic parts in place I have one left on the other side of the lens assembly um, but I've also done a pull test on the wires to make sure that they are indeed attached firmly enough okay so you can see that the third and final one is soldered on now I've done another pull test on the wires everything seems to be firm and stable enough and now I'm going to screw those parts back as you can see the uh, small screw holes where they need to be attached here and here and that's all so there you can see all three electronic parts now connected uh, and the metal uh, parts are now touching the brushes um, on this part here uh, on, on all in fact all of them so that uh, sorry I mean the other two and these ones have to stick up um, like this and contact the the next part that comes down on there so then now that we've assembled uh, those parts uh, the brushes uh, the motor is re uh, assembled into the unit um, with those electronic parts uh, connected um, and secured tightly with the small screws uh, then we can uh, attach uh, the ring and then the focus ring itself so it simply slots over the top and as you can see it's turning like this and the next part is then here is the top lens holder um, which then secures uh, to the to the top uh, of, of this uh, part here golden ring is keyed uh, right here so you can't really put that uh, in the wrong position also of course all of the screw holes have to line up and I think as you can see that's only going to work one way with that key there uh, then once we have that on um, on the underneath of here you can see where that keyhole where the key to that keyhole is it's just at the top um, or rather in the middle of the uh, the video image here um, you can just see it at, at the top of the ring there on the inside and that needs to then be turned around and that needs to be aligned um, with that ring as you can see and I think uh, you can see that it's fitting quite easily in there not too much effort needed just to slot it in and I can feel that that's uh, correctly placed uh, above the this the focus ring and the next thing to do is just to put the uh, the screws in and secure it down tightly so now you can see um, this top uh, lens holder uh, screwed down firmly with all of the screws eight screws in total and uh, I'm just going to before I put the the final lens in you can see over here it's just resting on the lens cap uh, so that it doesn't get scratched or damaged together with the uh, uh, it's it's uh, 
related screws and uh, I'm just going to use a, a brush to brush any dust out of there and to blow any dust out using the, uh, the blowing tool. I'm also using a uh, microfiber cloth as you can see the orange cloth in the background um, just to wipe very lightly the lens uh, I noticed that there was a small finger mark on there and now the finger mark is gone the lens is completely clean uh, shining no no signs of any dust on there really or, or if there is then it's just collected in the last few seconds after I was blowing it and of course uh, that that will happen uh, but now it's time to put the the last lens in and I'm just going to align that uh, and then slot it in uh, firmly and, and, and secure it with the uh, the screws which are there to facilitate um, easy alignment there's actually a small hole you can see here which aligns with that smaller hole down there uh, on the right um, so you can align those you can use a small um, like screwdriver or something you can poke uh, the screwdriver through this first small hole uh, and into that hole and this will assist uh, in, a, in an easier alignment um, because you need to apply a small amount of pressure uh, to the lens in order that it's, it seats properly into the lens assembly and of course if you apply a bit of pressure uh, you might uh, as, as you're trying to align it you might actually uh, um, remove the alignment or, or mess up the alignment with that slight pressure so I'm going to just uh, stop the video of course um, whilst I use the small screwdriver to align that and then I'll come back uh, with the screws then so now you can see I have this very thin uh, screwdriver which is holding uh, the final lens in place with that alignment hole uh, there's actually another alignment hole on this side as well and um, but this one I don't think we need uh, so that's securely in place now and we can just uh, screw in the screws and then we would add at the end uh, the, the ring the cover uh, and that's that's the lens uh, then uh, completely assembled again so there you can see the lens uh, is screwed in place uh, I've given the lens uh, a, a wipe um, with the microfiber cloth and although you can see some specks of dust I've looked through uh, the lens assembly and I don't see any any dust on the inside um, it's looking completely clear in there uh, and the last thing to do is actually just to attach this ring which has some self-adhesive on the back of course uh, the more times you take that off and put it back on uh, it's going to be of course less uh, sticky less adhesive and it may uh, need the adhesive replacing at some point um, but for the time being it's still sticky enough to put it back in place as it is and then uh, I give the, the lens a, a final wipe down in case I've touched the lens there slightly uh, and that's all then uh, the lens is uh, completely assembled there you can see the the make uh, model of the lens uh, it's that's all and uh, thanks for watching i hope this video helped you somehow uh, with this lens it's a very expensive and delicate lens and uh, i'm sure that i'll come back to another uh, video once i get the replacement uh, lens part for this uh, being the uh, pwm motor uh, one thing is though that uh, in the meantime i've decided that i would set uh, the manual focus, sorry, the focus setting here, as you can see in the in the window, I've set it at one meter. So there may be actually a possibility to use the the lens in some capacity uh, whilst I'm researching uh, uh, and acquiring that that um, spare part for replacement in the lens. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you somehow, and uh, see you next time.